I declare the winds of God blow across this region. Blow across this island. For Jesus Christ's sake. Shehe, kebe, kopo, hakabai. Lehe, kobo, soho, kabhapai. Lehe, kosoho, po, kahabai. I will put upon you a new dream anointing. I will put upon you a seer anointing. You will see through the darkness and you will see the light. You will see the, 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 the sun rising while it is still midnight. You will peer through the darkness and you will see past the storm and you shall see the dawn of a new horizon. You shall see the promise before it is born. You shall see that is not and you shall declare it as though it already is. You shall be illuminated, 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 illuminated with a seer anointing for Jesus Christ's sake. Angels, angels, angels all around. 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 Shehekai. Is is his wife here? Where is she? Oh, it's you. Come here. First of all, you're in the right place at the right time. And you have attached yourself to the right ministry at the right place at the right time. But the Lord spoke to me that I was just to lay my hand upon this woman and pronounce a spirit of adoption upon her. That you are not a foreigner. You are not an alien. You are at the right place, at the right time, for such a time as this. And I release upon you a spirit of adoption, by which you do, out of Romans chapter 8, cry out, Abba, Daddy, Father, I need you. And the Lord has heard your cry, and He has appointed you to be a watchman for Israel. A watchman for Israel. He has brought you across the waters to put within you God's heart for Israel. For God's heart for Israel, you shall receive this. It will be a supernatural work of the Holy Spirit that will go within you. God still is in the business of taking out the heart of stone and putting in the heart of flesh. This is your gift, a spirit of adoption upon you this night in Jesus' name. Shekabai. I saw written out in the Spirit, Psalm 27. And this is such a familiar passage. It's like, why read it? Because I'm supposed to. And you don't have to turn to your Bible. I want you just to listen. I want you to listen to this in the presence of God. I want you to listen to this in the anointing of God. This is going to touch someone's heart here so deep. Someone came here tonight feeling so desperate. I felt like they said to the Lord, if they will say, if they will read something from Psalm 27, I will really know that I am not alone. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom shall I dread? When evildoers came upon me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamped against me, my heart will not fear. Though war arise against me, in spite of this, I shall be confident. One thing have I asked from the Lord, that shall I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, to meditate in His temple, For in the day of trouble, he will conceal me in his tabernacle. In the secret place of his tent, he will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. Now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me. 
And I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Oh, hear, O oh Lord, when I cry with my voice. And be gracious to me and answer me when thou didst say, Seek my face. My heart said to thee, Thy face, O oh Lord, I shall seek. Do not hide thy face from me. Do not turn thy servant away in anger. For thou hast been my help. For thou hast been my help. Do not abandon me, nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a level path because of my foes. And do not deliver me over to the desire of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. The banner is written over this place, over this people. It said Psalm 27. So Lord, I just release Psalm 27 over this people. And over this, this, I feel like you could almost call it a house. Over this ministry, Psalm 27. And this shall be a ministry of deliverance. It will be a ministry of deliverance. It won't be as much speaking over one person. And then one person getting delivered. But the Lord is going to grant the power of declaration where you shall speak the word and hundreds shall be delivered in a moment. I was asking the Lord about this comparatively to me, young man, Matt Sorger. He spoke to me that he is as a pure heart, that he is steadfast in his moral fiber of character. He is one that the Lord has taught how to honor leadership. And he's one who is addicted to the Word of God. And he said to me that he was imparting unto this young man the gift of workings of miracles. And you're going to find favor, 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 favor. Wherever the British Empire went, you shall find favor. You shall find favor in England. You shall find favor in India. You shall find favor in South Africa. You shall find favor in Canada. That there is hot spots, hot spots in the Scandinavian countries. And you will have a harvest where other people have sowed into the field. That you will have a harvest in Finland, in Sweden. You will have a harvest in the Scandinavian nations. Where others say, the frozen tundra, it is too hard, it is too tough, it is too much for me to bear in these nations, in, 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 in Denmark and beyond. But the Lord is going to put His hand upon you, and you will be a harvester in Scandinavia. And you will go even in, in, in years to come to the Slavic peoples, and you will have a great end-time harvest that shall occur among the Slavic different people groups. For I, the Lord, have set you apart as an end-time harvester. You are not as much a sower as you are a reaper. I have set you apart as a reaper, an end-time reaper, an end-time reaper. And you shall reap where other people have sowed. That it will be miracles and speaking a word and hundreds and even thousands delivered by one word from the Lord in Jesus' name.